All right, in our last video, we have discussed about query parameters. And if you have been following along, you have been focusing on two HTTP methods so far. They are get and post. There are actually a number of other HTTP methods, but they are used less frequently. All right, the most commonly used HTTP methods are get, post, put or patch, and delete which corresponds to read, create, update, and delete, also well known as CRUD operations, respectively. And today, we're going to explore the other two most commonly used HTTP methods, uh, which are PUT and DELETE method. Before we move forward, I want to do a quick overview on the four methods, okay? So for the GET method, we normally use when we want to request data from the server and we want to use POST method when you want to send data to a server. For PUT, when you want to modify or you want to update data. And the last one, DELETE, simply straightforward when you want to delete data from the server or from our database. Okay, as you know, PUT and DELETE method can also get access to the values stored in request params object, request body objects, as well as request query objects. Let's, uh, you know, jump straight forward to the code. I'm going to open up our, you know, code editor. And let's add um, this method to our new route, which we want to call it app.put. Okay. And the first parameter is going to be person ID and the beautiful things about this is that as you can see all along we just use the same URL point which is slash person and this is a very common best practice if you want to write clean codes and your codes gonna look well organized all right let's go ahead again the first parameter is gonna be like uh, the same URL endpoints slash person and you want to put colon ID as the parameters and followed by the callback function which has which has access to request and response object okay all right we're gonna just want to write a very simple console log we're gonna just write console log hold on a second as I mentioned earlier we can also get access to the request body object we can get access to the request body object and we can actually retrieve the values now let me show you how okay and we also want to return something to the client a data in JSON format. Let's say put route. Before I get to save the file. All right. Um, so we're gonna test it out. We're gonna use this time. We're gonna use Insomnia. I mentioned to you in our previous video that Insomnia is a very useful utility of software from third party that we use to test our API. Let's bring it up. We're going to add a new request, new request. We're going to name it put request. Okay. All right. Create HTTP local host port 3000. Uh, and then the URL endpoint is person. And the ID, let's say ID number one. And we want to send a body which is in JSON format because we want to get access to the request body object. We want to see the value on our console. Nay, ID, let's say one and name Robert. Okay, let's hit send. Okay, now we actually retrieve, you know, the uh, the value sent or return by our route, which is the message put route. And if you bring up our code editor, you see the terminal here. 
we can also get access to the request body object which is id1 name robert okay next we're going to add our delete route by writing app.delete using the same url endpoint okay and then followed by the callback function as i mentioned earlier that put and delete method can also get access to the request body object and also request params object we're going to console log it to prove it request params okay and we're going to return a simple message in json format to the client message delete route save the file let's bring up the insomnia and add a new request we're going to name it delete request the method is going to be delete hit the create button and let's test it out localhost port 3000 person the id properly id number one in real application you might want to associate the id of the id of the database that you want to delete let's hit the send button okay we receive a return value of a message message delete route all right let's go back to the code editor and i wanted to check the terminal you see that we can select the request params value which is id equal one all right we have basically covered you know the four most commonly used http methods which are get post put and delete we will be exploring more about other topics in our future videos